right guys, welcome back to another episode of California Farmer. We're actually here back at the home ranch and uh, we're gonna be talking about almonds or almonds. Uh, but specifically, we're gonna be talking about the pest that we deal with called navel orange worm, uh, which occurs during hole split. This previous week, earlier this week, we had our PCA, our pest control advisor, John, come out. He was able to explain a lot better than I can exactly what navel orange worm is um, and when it comes out during that hole split time. A lot of times you guys may watch my videos and think, man, this guy knows so much about orchards and almonds and whatnot. I don't. I am not an expert at all, but this guy helps me out. Okay. This is John. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, we're all still learning, though. <laughs> so he's uh, our PCA, so our, he's our pest control advisor, but also a crop advisor. Um, and so, John, what is hole split and why do we spray during that time? So hole split, you have several different stages. Um, you have it where it's stuck together like that. Uh, you can't see any crack. And then it starts to split open and starts to smile and then it'll split open wide open uh, into this here. And then when it gets to that point, um, you know, it's getting closer to harvest, you let it dry out a little bit more uh, and then it's ready to shake. When it gets to this point right here is where it's susceptible to navel orange worm, uh, which is uh, this worm right here is what it'll turn into. And so, um, that's bad, you get a degrade for that, and uh, that's not a good thing. And so um, that's why you spray it whole split timing. And then uh, once the nuts open up too, you also gotta look for a disease, it's called hole rot. Let me see if I can find something here. Luckily right now we're in a spot where we're not seeing any hole rot, um, but it's a disease that once it opens up, if there's excess moisture, it will start to mold up and it'll actually stick the nut onto the tree and uh, it'll actually kill off the limb as well. So it's not a great thing to have. There's a lot of cultural practices that go into um, helping mini uh, minimize that as much as possible. So behind me here is a sprayer that we used for navel orange worm during hole split. Uh, it's made by Electroblast. Actually, it's called Electroblast and it's made by Pro Progressive Ag out of Modesto. Um, and it's pretty cool how this thing works. We have the, the product in here and it's mixing. Uh, what's creating that mixing is the PTO driving this pump right here and this pump allows it to circulate in there mixing the product together. Uh, the PTO is also driving, um, it's a series of belts that allow this fan uh, to spin. So how this works is these nozzles allow the spray to come out and they get sucked into that wind stream that the fan's creating. As they do that, they move past these electrodes which charge the particles as they leave and turn it into that fine mist which allows it to attract the, to the trees better. Um, and so because of that better coverage, we're able to go faster through the orchard. So another important feature of this sprayer is these valves. What these valves are doing, they're controlling the flow rate that comes from the pump to the nozzles. We can go up to about 50 gallons per acre with the sprayer, which is good because that allows us to make more passes through the orchard without having to refill. So you might have noticed we have two sets of nozzles here. So these nozzles are for when we're doing a whole split spray or any type of spray where we're actually mixing the product, the chemicals into it. These nozzles here are strictly just for high volume of water. So for example, we'll use these when we have dust mites, another pest for almonds on the trees, we can actually just go through and just shoot a bunch of water on them to wash them off the trees. Um, and so that's what these nozzles are for is that higher volume. Inside the cab of the tractor, I actually have a monitor. And what that monitor is doing is it's taking electricity from the tractor and sending it back to those electrodes in the back that are charging those particles. We have to keep the sprayer rig grounded and that's what this chain is actually doing. So this is my monitor. The monitor allows me to see the gallons per minute. And so this number will change to what flow rate I want. So that's why we have our conversion chart in the back. And that allows me to know what gallons per minute I need. And so this number will constantly fluctuate by the 10th. And so what I can do is right here on this controller, if it needs to be moved up or down, there's actually an electronic valve that can make, allow me to make small adjustments, either down or up to adjust that gallons per minute. Also, you'll see here where it says 597. That's the last tank I did. I was able to get 597 gallons out of it. Um, and so that's able to let me keep track when I'm in the orchard, if I'm coming to the end of a row, to know if I can make it down another row before having to go back and fill up. These switches right here allow me to control which side of the sprayer is gonna go, the left side or the right side or both. Most of the time we have both going as we're going through the orchard, but as we're making turns and going around edges, I may not need the right side or I may not need the left side. You can see right here this green light, that is letting me know that the electrodes are working, that the, that the particles are being charged. Um, this light will turn red if something goes wrong with the electronic system. And most of the times what happens is I lose my ground. Um, and so I gotta go either make sure that chain is dragging or I gotta go clean the electrodes um, in the back. 
So normally when I'm spraying, I'm wearing a full outfit, gloves, um, all the protective equipment that I need. Uh, I actually have to be certified to be able to spray these things because I know need to know how to be able to handle those materials. Um, and so I actually have an applicator's license to be able to do these things. And so I usually have suits on and I'm well equipped uh, for safety when I'm doing these things. Um, for right now, we've actually uh, gone through and cleaned the sprayer many times and just filled it with water so that we could do this filming to show you uh, what it looks like. So that way Cody's able to get up closer with the camera. Um, and so we've gone through and cleaned it many times. It's just water um, and that's why I'm not suited up. So guys, you can see what we did with the spraying. It's extremely important for us as almond farmers to be able to do this because that navel orange worm can really cause some damage uh, in our orchard where we could lose a lot of our crop. Um, and so that's something that we just, we gotta get take care of with that navel orange worm. So if you guys are enjoying this content, please go like and subscribe. Uh, go check out the latest video we did with the D11 Deep Ripper with the Fowler Brothers. It's just fun seeing this kind of machinery and I hope to do more videos like that in the future. But thanks for watching, guys.